Welcome to the second video in SEO Basics and on this one we're going to be talking about off-site SEO. That means anything that isn't on your actual own website. So it could be a link from YouTube, from Facebook, from an article directory, anything that isn't on your site. And you're looking for a variety of things. The first is links from, in quote marks, good sites. What that means is that ideally they should be ones that are recognised that look good and whatever. So something like YouTube is good, something like a huge long hyphen dash domain name that no one ever goes to is probably not so good. Um, you'll know if you look at them. You'll, you'll get a, a first impression, a gut instinct, and chances are that's right. Um, as far as links from other sites con are concerned, variety counts nowadays from awful lot. And some of the links to this, a lot of the links to this particular site, you'll find out in a minute are all from a forum that I'm a fairly active member on, or was, um, and therefore it's a bit biased. But you're looking really for different sites, different anchor texts, and different places on pages. And what that means is you might want some from YouTube, some from Easy Articles, some from Twitter, some from Facebook, and so on. Some, maybe some from a forum. Different anchor texts means exactly what that is. So. It, this page might be linked as SEO basics, might be SEO tutorial, could just be the actual just URL of the page. It, again, variety counts because Google knows it's artificial if every single one is the same. Different places on the pages means it could be a signature link in a forum, it could be a resource box in an article, it, it could be on a video quite often the, the links are fairly high up in the description different places so again you, you want to keep not a pattern you want to keep something as the next bit says where your links look natural because that's what Google's looking for and it's got enough data more than enough data to know whether natural is really natural or natural enough or completely artificial um, don't worry about things like follow and no follow links or edu educational links um, follow and no follow. No follow re doesn't mean don't follow it, it just means don't pass any link juice, any page rank across when it goes across. It was it's a misnomer, it was it's the idea the idea of no follow is actually just to flag it as a paid for link of some sort and again Google aren't they don't mind paid links, they're fine with that, but because they sell them all the time. But what they don't want is them to pass any anything into their algorithm and um, make it less pure than it already is. Um, EDU, again if you if you got a link from a Harvard professor or something like that, fantastic, especially if it's on their own blog, but that, that may just be an ordinary blog, it may not be an EDU link, but it would be recognised as an authority link. That's the only reason EDU and Gov links are pushed in people selling you backlink packages. Um, it's a red herring again. There's no extra power in them. Google doesn't treat them any differently at all. It's just some people think it's a nice selling point, and probably is because they're rare, and therefore they can charge more for a lesser number of links. But in practice, they don't actually. There's no. They don't have. They're not like a car on nitro or something like that. They they don't have any extra power beyond just the link as normal. Um, which means be wary of places like Fiverr or anywhere else that seems to be selling links that are too good to be true. Quite often with Fiverr you have to read between the lines if you did want to use the links because they'll say link from a PR9 site and um, yeah the, the site may have a page rank of 9 but the page you're on won't. It'll just be a page somewhere because you're not going to get on the home page of the site if it's a PR9 because they'll be very protective of that. And the other thing is don't spend too much time checking or panicking about li backlinks. You can't use Google as a tool to check backlinks. If you look at my site, uh, did link to my site and Google claims none, but Wikipedia, it claims has only got 2,700 links pointing to it now. That's rubbish. <laughs> what there are are various private uh, checking tools and there's two that I use don't do it very often, but they're certainly worth a look. One is called Ahrefs. Let's move that so you can see that. And you put your domain in, and it will. You need to sign up for an account, but there's free, which will get you limited information. Then they charge you if you want more. 
it'll give its own private score on a 1 to 100 scale, a domain rank also on a 1 to 100 scale, tell you roughly how many backlinks you've got, um, just for fun, Wikipedia, um, I searched for earlier, they are 25 million for 161,000 domains. Mine, <clears throat> just under, just over a thousand from 58 domains, just a slight difference, and it will give you all sorts of other information. Now remember that Ahrefs and the other one I'm going to show you, Majestic, are privately owned, which means they they'll crawl around, but they sometimes some sites will be protective and won't allow them in. So you don't get the whole picture with any of these because Google Google's allowed everywhere near enough. I think as a French newspaper told it, it couldn't wouldn't index it, but pretty much anyone else allows Google in, whereas they don't necessarily allow private checkers in. Um, you'll get all sorts of information there if you did want to do As I said, the danger with that is that you... It's worth looking occasionally, but definitely not too often, because the danger is that you just get swamped and you bogged down and you could be doing other more productive stuff. But you can... it'll tell you what the different phrases are, that's the different anchor texts that I've found for. It'll be a click here or something like that. And it'll tell you the different various bits of information, including some of the domains that are linking. So, again, worth worth a look every now and then just to see if what you're doing is working. So, I've just clicked on external backlinks, and that will tell me where I'm coming on. Quite often with this, it's where people have put. Okay, YouTube. There's found the YouTube videos I've got. Some of them. Um, whatever that sign is that you can't see, there's a... OK. It'll tell you whether they're follow or no, or no follow, and so on. And it won't give you very many because they want you to pay for a subscription, but it gives you a quick overview. And the other one is Majestic SEO. They're another privately owned crawler, and they'll give you similar but different information because they crawl the web at a different thing. If you remember, Ahrefs, let's go back to that, said I had 58 referring domains, Majestic only think I've got 20, and chances are there won't there'll be there won't be complete overlap on those. And it only thinks I've got 350 bat links. The other one thinks 1,200. So it's it's a good tool, but it's don't sweat it. It's not the be all and end all. Just gives you a quick idea has anything happened, and you can check other sites as well. But as I said, if you don't pay, you don't get very much information. It's enough to give you an overview. So that's that's it on getting off site links. So basically, the the idea is just do it regularly, um, regularly enough. Anyway, what I tend to do is I'll do articles, I'll do videos like this one. I'll sometimes put it onto a document sharing site or somewhere like that. Very occasionally, I'll put it on Pinterest. Very occasionally, I'll take the audio out of it and put it on a podcast. And um, I need to do that more often because some people prefer to listen rather than watch. So that's it. If you'd like to know more, there's a link below this video which will lead you onto my private tutor group, which this was a video I messed up the uh, recording of, so that's why I'm re-recording it. Um, I, it's a new program and I, I didn't get the settings right, but that's what I'm redoing this video for. It's a private tutor group you can dial in each week and you get tutorials like this or more powerful ones varying different topics on internet marketing and you also get the chance to ask questions and that's really important because internet marketing can be a very lonely business and you, you can you, you wonder where to ans ask questions and where to get right answers and that's the whole idea of a tutor group and it's really affordable well worth joining click the link below and you'll find more details on that thanks thanks for watching